Hello guys, welcome to Phones About Review of THL 5000 Tesla. The newest phone by THL with big battery, it's also known as 5000T. Let's check the box first and we'll check the phone later. Uh, this is the retail box, it's very simple. Here you see the THO logo right here, nothing interesting about the box. Uh, it has the phone specifications right on the back. Uh, you can see that it's running an Android KitKat with octa-core processor clocked at 1.4 GHz. Uh, it has uh, lots of broadband frequencies, so it's almost it can be used almost everywhere around the, the world. It has a 5-inch HD screen, high definition resolution, two cameras, 5 megapixel front one and 13 megapixel back camera. And also you can see what kind of multimedia it supports, what are the connectivity options and some other functions. <coughs> Let's open the box itself. Okay. And here is the box, uh, this is the package of the phone, and just under the phone we have some uh, lots of accessories by our seller, we have an extra screen protector, we have a flip cover, a book with instructions, we have also micro USB cable, it has uh, no THL branding. We also have our hands free and a charger. The package also includes a small micro USB OTG port, so you can just plug it into your phone and you can use it to add a keyboard, mouse or maybe even to charge other phone, THA5000 support OTG, so you can use it with your phone. Ok, let's put uh, the box aside and let's take the phone itself. And this is THL Tesla, as we said it's a 5 inch HD display. Uh, the phone is a little bit heavy but it has big battery. Uh, you can see on both sides, not on both, but on all sides, there is a thick metal-like frame. But actually it's not metal, it's just plastic. Uh, I, there are two different frames. The thick frame right here is plastic and there is a tiny other frame, which actually is metal. So there are two frames all around the phone. Uh, all the buttons are placed on the right side the volume rocker and the power button right here. The power button is just a little bit loose, just a little bit moving. You can see just a little bit moving. The volume button is stable. Uh, there are thick bezels on the bottom and the top of the phone and it's relatively big compared to other phones with uh, five screen 5 inch uh, displays. Uh, the buttons right here at the bottom are not uh, backlightened and there is no light so they are just drawings under the glass. The back camera as we said is 13 megapixels but perhaps it's interpolated and it's not the actual uh, the, the actual megapixels. The THO slogan is right here and the speaker is at the bottom. Let's just open the backlit so you can see what's under. Uh, by the way, the backlit is made of some strange material. Uh, it really looks strange. I'm not sure if you're able to see it as I see it on the camera. Uh, it's not slippery and it's uh, scratch resistant, but it's, it's really strange materials and uh, we've never seen such with any other smartphone. Uh, the backlit comes out a little bit difficult, so you need to watch your nails. Okay, this is the backlit. And here is the 5000 non-removable battery made by THL. You can't remove it, 
but you received two SIM card swords which are hot swappable. Uh, this means that you can remove the SIM cards or insert them without turning the phone off. And here is the micro SD card slot as well. Let's put back the lid and let's check the phone itself. Uh, we said that the back lid is difficult to be removed and it's a little bit difficult to pull it as well, but it fits perfectly and the phone is really stable, no cracks, no noise, I think it's really really stable phone. Okay, so the phone has 5 inch screen, which is an HD one. It has decent viewing angles, we can increase the brightness so you can see the viewing angles. Come on. Okay, don't try this with uh, sweat hands. Uh, you see that the viewing angles are decent. We just noticed some color changing uh, when the colors are gray. In our case we have a gray wallpaper and perhaps you can see a little bit change in the colors with the gray wallpaper. Uh, we can just put it back like this. Okay, so let's move along and first we can check uh, the settings so you can see what's in there. Uh, the phone is running Android. 4.4.2 KitKat and you can guess that there will be no further upgrades and perhaps the phone will just stick with this software version. Uh, THO included a section for wireless updates but you should not expect any major updates only some small maybe bug fix uh, packages nothing more. You can see the software version right here 4.4.2 the settings menu is pretty standard, uh, just like the stock Android. The only difference is right here in the accessibility section when there is a smart wake menu. It allows you to draw certain gestures while the screen is off and you can activate certain applications. For example, double tap to wake up the phone or draw C for the camera or maybe it was the dialer, never mind. Uh, this is the smart wake up section. Okay, uh, let's check the wake up section, we check that and the battery section as well. It's right here, of course the battery is the strongest feature of this phone. Uh, we lost about 25% for two days of usage and you can see that there is no battery graph so you can't uh, see uh, how exactly was the battery acting and uh, when did you lose exactly all, all the charge we got about two hours and half screen time which is great and we have we lost only one quarter of the charge itself uh, there is an interesting option here which is CPU power saving mode it limits the maximum CPU performance and it saves some battery. Uh, however, we are not sure if it actually works because we tried some benchmarks uh, with the option enabled and we tried some benchmarks when we turned the option off and we got the same results. So actually uh, there was almost no difference. Talking about benchmarks, let's check some of the results uh, we made. Okay, uh, some picture samples, we'll check the camera later. And we made some tests and we made some screenshots. Of course, perhaps the most interesting test for all of you is the Antutu test. And this is the score we got on Antutu. 27,000, almost 28. We can say that this is a great result. And as far as I remember, uh, Nexus 5 had similar score in the past when the phone was running Android, the same Android version. So Nexus 5 with Android 4.4.2 uh, scored the same result. Uh, something else, uh, you can see that the display has, it's a 5 touch capacitive display, so you can put up to 5 fingers on the display. 
<clears throat> we also run other tests and we publish all the results on our written review. You can find the link just under this video. Uh, let's check the sensors because there's something interesting. The phone is equipped with uh, several different sensors. You can see the accelerometer, co compass, magnetic field sensor, it supports compass, the proximity sensor and the light sensor. Uh, you can see that they are working. I put my finger here. You see that the proximity sensor reacts near, far. The light sensor also reacts. So all the sensors are working. And here is the multi-touch test. Let's perform it again. So you can see it's five touches, five recognized touches. The phone performs pretty good. It has one gigabyte of RAM memory, but it's uh, more than enough and you see no issues. Let me just check you what's the available amount of RAM. We installed uh, lots of applications. So you can see that although we installed lots of applications, the phone still has about 300, more than 300 available RAM memory and perhaps it just lost something because it made some calculations and we had the settings opened right here. Okay, let's check the camera itself. Uh, the phone is equipped with a 13 megapixel camera. It's right here. Uh, it claims that it has a Samsung sensor, but it's not so impressive. Uh, this is the standard Chinese camera application which we are used to. Uh, there are lots of settings. You have different scene modes. You can see them there. Of course, you can change lots of settings like exposure, light balance, or you can add some effects to your picture. Uh, there are some interesting options like voice capture. It allows you just to take a picture by saying cheese or something similar. Of course, the face detection, a smile shot. You just need to smile and the phone will take a picture automatically. Uh, no need to press the button. The phone supports HDR. It's great. And we think that it really improves the picture quality. There are a few settings uh, with the video. Of course, you can change the video quality settings and so on. Uh, the maximum available picture size is 13 megapixels, as you can see it here. We took some shots and we think the result is uh, the picture are pretty good if they are taken in daylight, but the night pictures are not so good. And actually there is lots of noise and they're good maybe even for social medias or sharing with friends on their phones via Viber or something, some other application. Uh, the camera is fast, of course uh, the amount of light right here is not so good so perhaps it's a little bit slower but usually it performs pretty good and we have the autofocus, of course let's try without a flashlight, a little bit closer, maybe like this. Okay, you see that the picture is taken pretty fast. You can see the quality. It's not bad at all, but we are talking about a close-up picture. Okay, uh, the flashlight. The flashlight is good. Uh, we are used to see very weak flashlight with most of the budget phones, but it's not the case here. And uh, the flashlight is actually good and uh, you can really take some photos while there is no light. The night shots are not so good and we notice something that the phone actually... Okay, I'm sorry. And we notice something that the phone actually doesn't have a night mode or at least it doesn't work as it should be. Or perhaps maybe Jerry, there is something messed with the settings. Uh, because the night mode didn't change the photos at all. Uh, it's the same if you take a picture with night mode or with auto mode. 
and perhaps you can say okay maybe the phone jerks works pretty well in auto mode and it's the same as night mode but not if you change to normal then this is the usual night mode you can expect so actually normal right here uh, stays for night mode and we notice that it gets it uh, receives more light and it helps for night pictures so perhaps the best option is to use normal mode during the night and if there is enough amount of light then you can just use the HDR option and it will be enough to take a good night picture the HDR mode is a little bit slow you can see the processing time still processing still processing and it's done it's a little bit slow but it definitely improves the pictures and they look much better uh, of course we are talking about pictures taken outside because there won't be much difference uh, for the inside shots but for the outside shots they're really great and the HDR improves the shadow representation okay the THL Tesla 5000 is equipped with a little bit weak GPU renderer and we were a little bit skeptic about uh, how the games will work but luckily the games are fine and we'll just show you a short demo of playing Asphalt 8 our usual game for reviews <clears throat> we didn't notice any hiccups or any delays any lag the game works fine just a little bit time until it loads okay let's go for a quick tour and thank you game loft of course unexpected advertisement by game loft We don't think that uh, the loading time is uh, more than the average. The sound quality is not bad. You see there are some marks left by my hand but they will disappear. The sound quality is good you, and unless you don't put your hand on the speaker then you have no problems. You see that Asphalt 8 is running pretty smooth. So no problem even with a weak GPU renderer, the game performs really well. Okay, I think that you got the idea and you saw that the game is running pretty pretty well. Uh, there is one last thing we want to show you and this is the video quality. Of course the phone is equipped with 5 inch HD display and you can expect that it will work, it will deliver a good user experience in terms of watching videos. There is an option in the settings section which is for clear motion and it helps for a better Better, free, better refresh frequency so it delivers better picture at least in theory uh, we try to watch some videos with the option enabled and with the option disabled but actually we didn't notice any difference so we are not sure if it works at all let's put something in the search right here and look for this HD video you try to change the video quality it's right here and this is the maximum we can have you see that the picture is great this is what you can expect for 5 inch phone it's almost impossible to notice any pixels 
we decrease the brightness but we can increase it so you can see the viewing angles okay see it's a little bit reflective because there is a sunlight coming from my left but it's still pretty good pretty good viewing angles Okay, uh, let's put that back right here. Okay, as you can see, the phone is fast, it has no problems running videos, games, and so on. Uh, it cost about $150, and for this price, you got one really great phone with big battery, smooth performance. It has decent cameras, unless you're trying to take night shots, because uh, sometimes you won't be so lucky with the night shots. But the flashlight is good. The design is really solid, the build is solid, and we really like this device. So if you're looking for one not so expensive device with great battery life and reliable hardware, then maybe THL 5000 Tesla could be your choice. Thank you very much for watching us. You can follow the link under the video and check our written reviews because you can see the benchmark results there as well as some picture samples from the camera. Thank you very much for watching us. Bye bye.